on the stand up fucking Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> she's the one that came out with the whole fucking um nobody's looking at me. I'm well, a married did. man and people are respecting or excuse me, I'm a married woman and people are respecting it and now I'm mad. That was the craziest shit of all time and I'm so glad that she got it's dragged for that him. shit. Uh yeah, he's famous. <laughs> yeah. Uh, without him, you don't get all that fancy shit you got, all that beauty that you got within your home, all that beauty you probably pay for to put on your face, and put in your ass and in your cheeks and in your lips. Yeah, I never understood it. Aisha Curry, she's married and she's mad that people don't hit on her. It was fucking weird. <laughs> it's really weird. It's like, so y'all, d- y'all, y'all just going to respect my husband like that? Wait, that's, uh, like, that's like yeah, the point yeah. where... Um, like now, Steph Curry has to like pay niggas to hit on his wife. <laughs> Yo, listen, man, I give you a couple stacks, man. But that's how it all goes wrong. <laughs> that's how it all goes wrong because then it turns stacks. into a fucking. What the hell is going on? In my like, home. Yo, you wasn't Baby, supposed let to me fuck her, bro. You were yep. supposed to pretend. <laughs> well, I pretended. And then one thing led to the next, it became real. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Bro, that's happened in wrestling. Like the famous Chris Benoit story. Chris Mm. Benoit killed his wife and his kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His wife, the first, how he got with her was a storyline. It was a fucking, yo, so there there was a gentleman named the Taskmaster Kevin Sullivan. Mm. And his wife was Nancy Sullivan at the time. And the the joint was, the storyline was, all right, so Chris, you're going to steal his wife. Um, so she's going to become Nancy Benoit and all this other, and that shit, the work got real. The you know what I'm saying? Real. She the really, work she got really, real. She really fell for the nigga? And she really fell for him, and they really got married, and, shit, and then listen, she uh, really got murdered later. The attraction are scary, man. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's not scary, but it's, it's real. I wouldn't say scary, it's just real, and if it happens, it happens, and you just buck up, nigga, because... I don't. That's why I don't take anybody for granted. You know, like I, I got a good woman right now, and uh, you know, and I believe and I trust in her, but I don't take anything for granted. You know, what I mean, I think like I, I feel like if you, you you start doing that, well, ah, she would never. I can never say that <laughs> because who knows? You know what I mean? Who knows what kind of limit she can get to? Like you know what, nigga, I, I can't no more. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and not really, and be you know, a lot of people do that whole thing where they're, just, they're not. They're gonna be scared to tell you. You know what I mean? Scared to tell you I don't want you because I'm scared to hurt you, but I don't want you and I'm going to hurt you. But I don't want to tell you I'm going to do the shit. But that's what I, you know what I mean? It's like, well, you kind of need to make up your mind. You know what I mean? Because the worst thing I say for a nigga is dragging me along and you've been feeling like this forever. It's like you've been smiling at a nigga face for how long and you don't want to be here? Mm. Yo, you got to keep that shit real. Keep it moving. Set your significant other free that you don't want to be. Bird gang, guns you know in the mean? bushes. Come on now. I believe it was Christina Aguilera that said... If you uh, love something, let it go. If it comes back, it's yours. That's how you know. And she was the first and only think, person to ever I say that. She patented that shit, too. That I was think, hers. I think now, you think she coin phrased it, too? She came up with it. Yeah, so if niggas say that, like, Yo. you might even have to pay for that. You just said that. I'm just saying. You might want to watch out for it being flagged and shit. I want to know where the word <laughs> coin phrase just came from because that's the name of this episode. <laughs> Welcome to the Watermelon vs. Pumpkin there Podcast, <laughs> coin phrase edition, episode 113. That's the 113. <laughs> and uh, I am Lil Mattress, his co-host, not your mm-hmm. co-host. You already know this. Uh, mm-hmm. We in the building, women and children, women symbols, children. Zildjian, uh, bars. What? And uh, welcome, yeah, man, 113. 113. It goes quick. It goes it, quick, it, guys. It, it, they go by. This just shows you how many weeks can go by they without, grow so without fast. thinking again. We've been in your ear for 113 weeks, nigga. Mm. And in your face, in your visual. I'm the patient. Which means one. we've been in your ear for 113 hours. Think mm. about it. Take a road trip. Come on. Take a road trip. Get off, stretch, get back in, and go back at it, nigga. We out here. Multiple young days. Pastry, nigga. Why you NG past rye, guy? Uh, dirty muff top. You know what I'm talking about, nigga. Uh, <laughs> when I say muff, I meant muffin. So don't attack me. It's being a sexual beast. Vaginal cleanliness uh, is a thing uh, of beauty. Yeah, it, oh. No dirty muff tops over here. There will be no dirty muffs. If you <laughs> so happen to... All right, now that's a good census out there. Of, have you ever got to that point of getting to a point where like, boom, man, I've been trying to hit this for a little bit of something. And then you get water. And then there's, you know, there's a dragon that lives down there. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I've, definitely, ah. I've definitely done a push-up before where you go down and you just pop right back up of like, yeah, no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> like, I ah. can't go for that. No. Uh, yeah. But then it's, no it's bad do. because I'm like a nigga at heart. So I, I'm like, I ain't going to eat it. But I might put my condom on if I'm digging it. I'm just saying I might. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That. I would still go in there. But I'm not, I, can't, I can't get down there face-to-face. Yeah, yeah. Face-to-face is just... Nah. Or you, or I've definitely done the questionable where like, all right, 
I'm not putting my tongue nowhere near that, but I'll lick your clip for a little bit because but I feel like the, it's down there and up close, here it's cleaner. It's so too I'll, close I'll, to the door, too. You know what's crazy? I got a bad confession, man. It's happened before, This is man. my confession. There we go. Coming in hot, coming out hot. Um, Been down there before. At a, you know, it's happened a couple times, you know, down there. Pleasing the please, what you do, you're making it right for her. Uh, and I ran into um, a tissue dingleberry. Ooh. Yeah. That fucking fucks up the whole shit. Like, ah, uh, oh, <laughs> tiny or not. It's kind of like, yeah, that there's probably piss on that. Probably was piss on that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was piss. I'm hoping it was piss. <laughs> I was going to say, I've never been there before, but. But, you know, because ladies wife. I and, you feel know, I mean, like, like I could not. Uh, be calm about it. You know what I mean? I feel like I would, and, and I'm not saying that I would step up and embarrass. I would say I, I would definitely like make a joke out of the situation. You know what I'm saying? Something to that effect, but Listen it here, definitely Kyle wouldn't now. be a, and we're going to keep going. It would definitely be a, you know. <laughs> like pause. Mm-hmm. Think about what just happened. I don't know. I might playfully right. spit it directly in her face, <laughs> then go back down. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. From behind just, your back with a straw. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just playfully <laughs> pop up and hit her with a, Take that and then go back down, you know, something like that. Ball dart, nigga. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You sleep now, you sleep. Yeah, that was the way it was, but it's uh, I guess it ain't no different than I never really asked the women. Uh, I feel like I have, but I don't remember the answer when uh, you know, when she's pleasing you, giving you oral uh, pleasure, and she does that thing. And like, what what the fuck, what is on your tongue? What is it? What is it, dead skin? (laughs) Oh, is it dead skin, women, that, that you are. Like kind of is it hair or de- the only thing I think because it's like you're pulling something off your tongue. Uh, hold on, definitely man. could be a pube because let me tell you something. I pubes are bad. <laughs> I am I am a I am a man in the terms of um I still have a penis. I do not claim transgender female anything like that. So right. I was born a man, still have a penis, and uh, I use the male bathroom um, for the time being. How dare you? And I will tell you. Some people out there got some loose pubes, bro, because <laughs> you'll be like, yo, in le- I don't know if you did this on purpose. I don't know if this is a trick. I don't know if this is a prank. I don't know if you went in there and were just like, fuck it. I love pain and grabbed a handful. Oh, but, dude, got I've loose. been there before where I've yo, seen a, like, whoa, just got- this has to be on purpose. <laughs> I just, niggas, you got to chalk it up to loose follicles, man. Niggas, loose got, loose, <laughs> niggas got loose follicles in the whole midsection, man. And I think it's when niggas shake, everything is, you know, like the leaves on the tree that fall off. <laughs> but that, but then I feel like, so did they already fall off and now they're just camping until they're disturbed? Until, they're, until the bush is shaking. Right. You know, because sometimes leaves stay on the tree. Guns until in they, the bushes. Until they come Birdman. down. You got to shake the tree for some of them leaves to come down because they're still connected in a way. But, That's uh, crazy. Yeah, pubes are a weird thing. Uh, <laughs> Bars. <laughs> they come out. Who they put this it. pube on my Coke can? <laughs> Who put this pube on? Speaking of that, Clarence Thomas, uh, the Coke can man. CT. 1991's finest, who uh, Anita Hill was her name, and he wanted to show her how big his penis was. This is a Supreme, Co- uh, Supreme Judge now, Supreme Court judge that we're talking about. And a lady from the 80s, 81 to 83, said that he was sexually harassing her and his whole, you know, time there as being a judge. And he kept making passes at her and, you know. So what, now was this another case where, so you said from 81 to 83, but then. She brought it she, up in 91. That's interesting because, yeah. all right, so now that's been uh, done, done and done. But have you heard about the woman now that's coming out? And I only heard about it because 50 Cent joked about it on his uh, Instagram, which, mm. listen, I'm not trying to make fun of any type of sexual anything, but um, Rick James is dead. Mm. Now this woman comes out and she's suing him for something that happened in the 70s. Oof. They said, now, because I don't know the exact number, but, and, you know, math, and why are we going to do that? That's but they crazy. said 41 years ago, wow. he sexually harassed, you know, molested, whatever it may That's be. Insane. Sexually I, I, assaulted her, and she's trying to sue now. And 50 Cent came out with just like, yo, come on. Like, right. I know, man, you there's the, you want to wait, you want to whatever. Like, right. some people aren't ready to talk about it, but listen, 41 years and... The dude's been dead for a minute. Like, what are we doing here? Right. And how do you even go about that process? Like, so if you go to, if by chance any fucking lunatic judge and jury and whoever takes the case, who's showing up in court to defend? And so what are, are you just going for the, 
the so we're gonna cross examine the witness from seventy one. Yeah, like, yeah, that, that should work out just fine. And literally, so then the person that you're suing isn't alive anymore. So then, are you trying to then sue their estate for right. some money out of that? Like, right. or the money that he's getting from? Uh, I, I want the I want the proceeds from Give It to Me Baby for the next two years, and then we'll call it even. Hey, you know that? Uh, you know the proceeds that go to the St. Jude's Children with Cancer? <laughs> I want all that. The one in honor. Of, yeah, I want that. Like, fuck them kids with cancer. I need it. Like, I don't know, man. It's like, why? Like you said, why wait so long? At that point, it's almost like that's something you might want to go to your grave with. Uh, you know, then I just think, like, people hit rock bottom. And it's like, how can I get cashed? Oh, I yeah. did fuck Rick James once. So maybe I just go ahead and said, you know, I have witnesses that know I fucked the nigga. They know I used to talk to him. So having me on the scene and being around him is not a hard thing to prove. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, no, she was around. They used to fool around. I remember they used to fool around. So, all right, so now she's in the loop. So now it's like, well, it could be true. He was a superstar. People are scared to talk against superstars. It could have ruined her career. If she never had a career, how the fuck is it ruined? I don't mm -hmm. know. Uh, <laughs> it more so would have ruined his career, you know? Uh, I guess, you know, they go, well, they don't want to be they embarrassed to being the ones and this and that. Yeah. My whole thing is like, listen, ladies, if you're out there, please do me a favor. If the nigga's wronging you, man, and you're being wronged by these, you know, these guys that are like that and do that, you put them on blast immediately. Stop. Stop the bullshit, man. Mm. Get these motherfuckers right now, right here. Don't, you know I mean? It's like that woman's probably, I don't know her. I don't know anything about her. But it could be that she was getting a leg up somewhere at that point. Whether him giving her money, her helping helping her with her financial status, you know, who knows, man? It's like either you were around a celebrity and you slept with him because you wanted that for your 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 um, feather in your cap in life. You know what I mean? Like, well, I'm just gonna fuck niggas. I'm as a fucking famous nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, I said that's the exact prayer that I say to God before I go to bed every night. <laughs> When I oh, <laughs> fuck these niggas. I'm also fucking famous. <laughs> oh, shit. But, you know, it's say something immediately, ladies. Let's let's stop. Let's. It just looks bad 40 years later. And and I get it. Like, I can't never have that conversation with my mother because she jumps down my throat and, and I get it. You know, yeah. her coming from her past and things that happen. And I, we have I, to say, too, obviously, we are, what like, I, I've already declared that I am a man born a man, and you are as well, as <laughs> yes, far as yeah. I know, and that you, you know, <laughs> this close to me. It's but man boobs right so here, you know, uh, immediately that makes us, yeah, so we don't know what it's like to be a woman, to be right. sexually and, harassed, and I get assaulted. It. And I, I love when it's like, but you don't know what it's like to be a woman, and then it's like, no, you're right. Yeah. But then if I say, you don't know what it's like to be a man, like, oh, you got it so hard. <laughs> Like really? So why do you do that? Why you uh -huh. know? Why can I say it's hard to be a man and I gotta hear shit about it? But you can say how hard it is to be a woman. Like I get it. Bars. You know what I mean? It's like I get it. There's 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 mistreatment. Women been mistreated for a long time. Mm -hmm. you know, hey, listen, this is the black male here saying it. yes. I understand that mistreatment thing. I get it. <laughs> it's there. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. But like I was trying to tell my mother, I said, Ma, but isn't it changing? No, they're still do Ma. It's gotta be changed. There are more women of power. I said my whole thing is like now there are women of power. You know, now it's the same thing even, you know, like black people. We have we have power with certain things. But I get it. Somebody said, it's not enough until it's equal. Do you want that or do you want it to be more than? You know what I mean? Mm. You know, that's always a question I have. It's like, do you really want equal or do you want more than? You know what I mean? Because if you are on the side that's more than, will you be fighting for equal for those other people just as much? Boss. Think about that shit, people. Like, if, if blacks were of majority and the whites were of minority... How many black people will be fighting for their equal rights of, of the white minorities? I don't know. Yeah, because I'll tell you, you man, I mean? you, you go on Twitter, it's real easy to find white people that hate black people, and it's real easy to find black people that hate white people as well. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's And there, and there, there and, is that weird conversation and, where somebody has tried to say, and not somebody because it's a lot of people, try to say um, – that black people can't be racist, which is such a weird thing to even say out loud. But then, the for me, it's even crazier to believe it. Like, because right. there's really, really people out there that, are, like, there's people that believe the earth is flat. There's really people believe, like, oh, they're black, they can't be racist. When right. it's like, oh, my. Well, I think it's That's just... It. So it's, it's, even at that point, it's tough to have an right. honest conversation with someone it like is. that. It is. And, and it's tough, man. It's because, look, man, I get it. You know, it's no Uncle Tom type shit happening. But what it is, is it's just... It's, uh, seeing and, 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 and kind of visualizing and analyzing what the hell's really going on. You know what I mean? It's like you can't always have it where you, you, you want certain things, but you're just always constantly saying somebody else is to fault for you to get things. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah, there's going to be some some bumps in the road. And uh, yeah, is there this, you know, discrimination? The shit? Yeah, that shit exists. And, you know, you yeah. got to fight. You got to speak on things that don't seem fair. You know what I mean? You can't just always jump out and say it's because you're black. But if there's something sniffing there, like, okay, 
we got something going on here. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? If it's something in your face, like, oh, damn, I'm more qualified than this guy. I'm 100% more qualified than this guy. Why the fuck don't I have a job besides him being white and me being black? You know what I mean? At that, that yep. point, is like, you got some explaining to do. Tell me why I don't have that job. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I think it just gets into this whole thing of because so much was done in this country to, to, to you know, to the, to the black culture and the black people, man, that it was so much done that it turns into this whole now the, the U.S. kind of has this guilt that they have to kind of allow almost like, okay, we can't really, we fucked up so much that now it's all pouring out back into the laps. Yep. And the people that I think more to me that, that kind of suffer through that kind of thing are your everyday people like yourself and people that just like, yo, I'm out here just trying to make it like everybody else, man. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I'm not a fucking rich, high established person. It's mm. like, I'm not but, that person. You yeah. Know? Cause it's unfortunate because I've gone through it and obviously um, it's nothing compared to the, the fucking plight of the black man. That's not what I'm saying, but mm. I've definitely been through it where like, yeah, you can tell somebody is treating you the way that they're treating you because of the color of your skin. And you're just like, Listen, wow, man, that's it's we, be, we, we, because I've it, never seen it firsthand with yeah. me that time when I'm fucking when we did that show and the lady I went to shake her hand and she looked yep. at me like I was the dirtiest black man she's ever seen in her yeah. life. She was like, huh, no thanks. I'm like, yep. whoa. <laughs> and I was showing respect. It was her establishment we were performing in. So that was, mm -hmm. you know, you get those kind of things, man. It's like, it, I don't, you know, Stevie can see that. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> Steve, <laughs> you know, it was like, come on, man. Chris Rock said the best. We can't get Stevie. I paint. <laughs> but it's like, you know, you can't blame everything on it, but you could definitely see some shit to be like, ah, yeah, and, I'm pretty sure you were right there with it. And <laughs> everything is also going to be uh, a work of progress to, um, like you were saying with, with your mom, it's, it's tough to, I think, be in uh, progress as it's happening instead of like, how you were saying, you try to look back at, yeah, but look where it was right. and look where it is now. But she said, I understand. It's not enough. It's not you, enough. Yeah, I, it's she like, wants it to be at the end too. But then you have to bring up Tupac where still I see no changes. <laughs> I see no changes. I was like, there's changes, mom. There are mm -hmm. Political figures that are women. There are CEOs of companies that are women. There are people that are running, like you know, uh, towns and cities that are women. That is change. That is difference. That is happening. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's not like they're holding us back. No, it's going. It's not mm -hmm. on a level that you would like it to be. You know what I mean? Like if everybody had their way, we'd all you know. You can't make everybody fucking happy, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not every gay guy is gonna feel like oh, uh, you know, they're all treating us the same. Well, in New York right now, a lot of um, <clears throat> there's been a lot of violence against Jewish people in New York. <clears throat> and somebody had gone to um, the hood and was interviewing because I guess it's a lot out there of black people are, are just straight up attacking Jewish people. And I'm talking about um, mm. the Jewish guys, you know, with the curls and yep. they wear the, pretty much all black outfits. Yep. And <clears throat> the only person that said anything was talking about, well, yeah, you know, like they're buying up the area and uh, they're not giving us shit. So we're beating them up. And it's just like, Oh that's, man, that's like, a, like you feel so concept. bad about that is a terrible way to think about it. Yeah. You could be upset and against it. You can, you know what? What people don't do is like, you know what you do? You go down to these little city hall fucking town meetings that black people usually don't go to. Yep. <laughs> and, and you go down there and you find, you know what? I got something I gotta say about this town. And I'm yeah, a part yeah. of it and I got a word to say. Those things hold weight because that's, you know, I talk to some of my black folk. That's what a lot of white people do. <laughs> you gotta complain about this shit. <laughs> Yeah, but we've learned. We're doing it now. So, <laughs> no, I feel you. It's the thing to where um, there's there's talk and there's action. Right, you know? right. You got to get in there, get in their face. You know, that's that's the good. Th you know, I do I do appreciate that. That's the beauty of this country, man. That uh, you you know, if you push your voice enough, you can make moves. Yeah, you know I mean, you can make movement in the water if you push your voice enough for for something that's injustice. You know, and but I think what what the problem that we're running into now is a lot of people the they guidelines? they. They can't feel what you just said to where people think, hey, I said something, so now someone has to do something. And that's the other part, too, right. where it always is a gamble. It always right. is, you know, you can try as hard as you want. That's why that shit that people grow up on forever, you could be anything you want. You could try to be anything you want. Right. That doesn't right. mean you're going to be it. You know what I mean? Like, right. I think it should be the whole difference should be, you, you know, when the, the saying is what, you can put anything you put your mind to? No, it's, you can do anything you put the work and effort into. You know what I mean? But to a certain point, you can fucking go shoot a basketball 100 times a day, you know, 2,000 times a day. Don't mean you're going to make it to the NBA. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just some people have different talents they're born with, man. You know, I remember there was kids growing up, man, that's like my man Milton. You know what I mean? I remember him to the T. Like, we were all like, I don't know, I was 12, 13, 14, around that era. Fucking dude had a physique. Like, it was like, yo, do you lift weights a lot? You know, but he was kind of like, not really. He was just like, he was just 
genetically, just like that. Born, right, genetically, he had the, the you know, twitch fiber muscles, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he just was built like that. So it's, it's, sometimes it's just how you are DNA brought up, man. You know what I mean? How your strands are put together, uh, you know? But, you know, it, it just gets into that whole... It's a, it's a long, like you said, it's never going to die overnight. It's never going to be because people always have different opinions and it's always going to be that. So you got to just kind of stick to facts more what's going on. See it. There are more people that are getting more opportunities. Is the numbers equal, close to being equal? Probably not. But you know what? We're gearing, we're working to get in there as far for women, gays, blacks. It's work, yeah. it's progress, and they're getting to a certain level to the point where I just say get to that point where nobody's really – Talking about it like that, you know what I mean? Nobody's making it a, a big thing. Like, oh man, black people don't let. Okay, but it's funny too. Another thing that it's not funny. It's just interesting to see uh, that people don't look forward because the war is always so white and black. Watermelon versus pumpkin. If you didn't fucking notice, we're here, we're here, we're here. Um, <clears throat> a lot of Asian cats now are getting fucked out of school because it's now. Then there's too many Asians at Yale, right. <clears throat> and we got to get more. Black kids in here. We got to get more. So instead of it always being, you know, like that white kid thought, no, I mean, I just lost out because of, you know, uh, affirmative action. Now it's weird because now it's getting turned over to Chinese guys, Asian people who are, you know, if if you want to do the um, white people love uh, (laughs) white people love pumpkin, black people love watermelon, Asian people love math and school and all that (laughs) other shit. That shit is real, but but (laughs) it's wild. It's not being uh, publicized as much because. The plight of the Asian is not really a thing that anybody fucking discusses in this country, but right. it's happening in they're, schools, they're, they're, man. They're quieter, in they're quieter, humble people. So, like yep. in general, like the culture is very shy, so they don't really kind of come and you know complain about things. We mm. just want to fix it. <laughs> that comedian that time, uh, Chinese guy, he's like, "So you need a Chinese president?" He said, "We don't care black, we don't care white, we don't like you, none of you equally. We just want to fix things." <laughs> oh, speaking of that, in, like, in, true story, true story. <laughs> I forgot to mention it last uh, week. Andrew Yang did drop out of the presidential race. He was the cat that was a thousand dollars a month for everybody. Right. He did drop out. Um, oh, damn it! I want that thousand. <laughs> I know. And, believe me, he had. Damn Dave, it! I would have got five hundred probably. He, but you he, know. <laughs> he had Dave Chappelle calling people at their house, trying to you know work the phones and work the system, and it just didn't work, huh? It didn't work, man. Oh, Dave but, Chappelle. Real quick to to speaking of Dave Chappelle. What if I finger say to the face? I can't believe this. We were talking about the entire Rick James thing. Mm. Um, Rick James accused of rape 15 years after his death. Dog, I didn't know that he was fucking gone 15 years already. That's crazy. That's fucking nuts. That nigga's dick is still being accused. <laughs> like, sorry. I don't even put it that way. But you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. uh, but, you know, and it's, it's sad because in a sense, I could see it where, like, a motherfucker with power and celebrity could would do that and take advantage, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and almost like he's being sued for a rape of a fifteen year old girl ooh. in nineteen seventy nine. See, at that point, that's just sagittary rape. She wanted she wanted to sleep with a with a celebrity. She's fifteen. She probably had to crush on the guy. She didn't know no better. He was wrong. And, Definitely. and honestly, that happened. You know what I mean? And honestly. But because we we think from it with 2020 brain right now, and I ain't talking about vision, uh, but I just mean, hindsight. Like, <laughs> yo, it went a step further because I was talking about 2020 hindsight, 2020 vision, and mm. the year is 2020, Ooh. and we're talking about 1979. Ooh, talk so you got to think in 1979. First off, everybody looked like a fucking adult forever. So you see Mustache. some of those cats that like when Elvis was with his fucking wife when she was like 15, and she looks like. My grandmother, you right, know what right. I mean? Where you're just like, how the fuck were people so old back then? Right. You know? But yes. so that's I'm not standing up, not saying it was right. Of course, I was 1979. I was, you know, but you gotta look I, at, I was you gotta a look at it all. But then you also gotta think too, man, were they checking IDs in seventy right. nine? What was come on. Eh, I'm I mean, not come blaming on. I, I talked to my mother who's, you know, born in fifty six from that era. You don't think you don't think she was sneaking in the clubs at sixteen seventeen, yeah. you know what I mean? Fake IDs and shit, knowing somebody. Yeah, Flash what, a titty, let him in. Oh, God, she didn't say that one, but probably. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, at the time, it was like. No, I didn't mean her. I mean, in general, that's what people <laughs> that's would do to get through. To get it, right. <laughs> a little t- it's the 70s. You go to the fit, Studio yeah, 54. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's just like, yeah. hey, boom, little box check shot it. at Studio 54, you're in. She's in. She pulled the pearl out. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it was that thing where there are women, and, and uh, if you look at it from not. All the time, but of of majority, from what I've seen and, and witnessed, of m- mostly young women 
they're attracted to older guys. They don't mm. really care for guys their own age. It's yep. kind of always been that thing. They, well, they say the thing is that, you know, women mature faster than men. Right. So that's why they're attracted to older men older who are, men. you know, the maturity level matches right. up. Right. Well, I think a lot of times that, and I think it's just, you just want to, you, you know, I just want to, he's older, I want to be with him. And I don't know, I think it's just always the guy's thing that always just like the younger girl makes him feel younger. <laughs> Takes him back. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, she's fresh and young, and I'm like, I'm not, you know. And I think a lot of guys that really like younger girls like that, that's just more of a control thing, manipulating the mind of somebody that you yeah, can kind of yeah. like, kind of get to do things because she's not hip to the game yet. And you're yep. kind of like, ah, you, you're telling her what to do like a father figure. It's almost weird. Dude, you know I'm I mean? telling you, how I, I've told you before, I love garbage ass television. Mm. I've been watching 90 Day Fiance. Oh, this shit a, is a gem. I've heard about that one. It's like dog. I've dog, seen some. Actually, I've seen duck, a couple episodes. They do like overseas shit too, right? Dive in. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I I'm think telling I've you, seen it. Dive in, dog. Um, I, I've, I'm still on the first um, initial I, incarnation I of it. Like I, okay, so I, I uh, see because that I because now it's it's blossomed into right. 90 days the other way, 90 days abroad, whatever it is. But um, right. the the. Because this gist guy of came the show. from, like, Africa or some shit. Yeah, yeah. that's the gist of the show. The gist of the show is people meet however they meet, whether on vacation, whether social media app, whether dating app, whatever it is, yep. from two different countries. And then at some point, they've met up, they right. did the thing. Um, somebody proposed in two fucking days. Now, the girl or guy, the person that's from the U.S. is back in the U.S., and they do this thing called a K-1 visa, where it's, you can come over to the United States as long as you're, you know, your record's clean, you're all good, yep. um, and you have someone that can take care of you for 10 years, meaning the person that, you know, is going to marry you, they'll, they'll promise to support you so you don't go on food stamps or no bullshit like right. that for 10 years. And that whole process, the K-1 visa costs $5,000. And mm. so from the day it gets approved, whatever, they come over, they have 90 days to choose to get married or the person goes back to their country. And let me tell you, the mm. fucking, the insane women from Brazil that look, you know, pull, yeah. Yeah, right. marrying Phenomenal. these fucking. And you see this guy, oh, right. It's oh. like, it's Bill Gates coming in the building and Bro, it's just fucking and, fine. And it's honestly, it's one of those things where like, then they're together in a room and you're just I like, feel like I saw that I one. The, young, the young Brazilian girl was she was like, hey, don't you don't trust me or something. It's a couple. There's yeah, been a couple know, of them. I, you know? I, I, I but feel yeah. like the one episode I, I saw a couple of, them, but I, I <laughs> do know the show because but it was that's a the... very um, a very uh, common story. Exactly. Right. So, and there, then they're in the room you. together, and I'm just like, have y'all ever even spoke about anything before? Because they're just not on the same page on anything, and it's chaos. And it's he couldn't speak Spanish too well, and it's like, how's this gonna work? Yeah, it was like. You don't really speak. How did it work anyway? No, you wanted this fine little thing that to have yep. on your hip, you know, like you're Donald, like you're fucking Hugh Hefner. And I then got all this. their friends are telling, "Yo, she's using you for a green card, all that right. other stuff." It it's, is magical right. and so horrible at the same time. What you time. should do is like come out and be like, "Yeah, I know, but I'm using her for her pussy," because that's what you're doing. Let's keep it real. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> that's your trade off. If that's your high pay, you're paying to keep in house pussy, then call it that. The one that I'm watching right now, there's this. Uh, one girl, she's um, 31. Sandwich on that note. She's 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 a white woman. She's 31 years mm -hmm. old, and she's from man. It might be one of the Carolinas or something like that. But okay. she's marrying a fucking 20 year old Jamaican cat, <laughs> who like even like he's getting a haircut at the barber, and they're all asking him what he's there for. Obviously, the camera's there and shit, and he's straight up admitting the shit of just like, yeah, if I didn't have to get married to come to the U.S., I wouldn't have done it, you know. And then you're just like. What the fuck? Wow. How do you even? She just know she got a little young bull. Yep. Bang your brains out. I got me a little young one. But it's He's going to move on, honey. He's going to move on. He's going to come to the States and get a taste of this yeah, shit. Yeah, you gone. see her 500-yard stare of just like, and he loves me, and I can't believe it. You know what I mean? That just like, no. oh. He loves the situation, baby. <laughs> He's going to be coming here. I, I, cause my, I, listen, my mother's got a close friend of hers. I'm not going to say her name. Good people, though. But uh, she's brought two niggas over here. You know what I mean? Uh, from um, one from Morocco and one from um, Algeria. Wow. You no, know, the Moroccan guy. Once again, she's uh, in her fifties. Mm. This guy was fucking. Uh, the first guy was twenty six or something like that. It's true love right there, oh, dude. Oh, it's true love. Oh, <laughs> oh, God, he loves me. We're gonna. Marry. She went out there to his country and did all met his did yeah. the whole traditional marriage thing out there. Came home with the henna and shit. Oh, oh, all that, all that good happy stuff. I'm a fucking guy here to this country. Not even a year or so they lasted. Whatever, whatever I think uh, minimalized guidelines <laughs> yeah, you need to get yeah, married yeah. so you don't get deported is what he shot for. 
And then just like later, yep. when I was banging everything, like, come on, man, you talking about a young 20 something year old man got a older 50 something year old woman. He already know they nothing like you just a ticket. He caught you online and he sweet yeah. you, baby. He caught you. He caught you. Know, and you're like, he's a handsome guy. And you're like, oh my God, he really loves me. Oh my God, yep. I got me a little Moroccan guy. Dude, he's you so see hot. them having arguments that you're like, once again, have y'all never met, fucking met before? Because it's like a 27 year old dude that marries an 18 year old girl, and uh, he's a Spanish cat, and he moves to fucking New Hampshire, right. and the entire time he's just like, "Yeah, I don't want to live here." And she's like, "Oh my god, this is where I grew up. This is where I grew up. I have to show it to you. I don't so ever want to leave." This? <laughs> yeah, I don't ever want to leave, and he's just like. Yeah, I want to move to uh, Virginia at least in like six months, and right. she's just like, "Yeah, but I just want to live here forever." And you're like, "Like, this do y'all know?" And you right. just watch these fucking two cars coming at each other, and you're just like, "Yo!" But I it's know. beautiful garbage ass television right. that I love. I don't even know why I brought it up, but I'm happy I did. Right? <laughs> you just gotta love the, the 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 garbage of America, man. We put it out there and we eat it up, man. You know. Uh -huh. it's, you know all those like catfish shows, which I always my mother gets mad because I tell her it's not real. It is. Look. All right, all right, my maybe I okay. Catfishing, I think, is a real thing. Is the show fabricated a little bit? Probably because yeah. you gotta make good TV. You know, the, the catfish nowadays. Bars. You catfish nowadays. You have to Louisiana. Don't know them niggas. Shout out to Boozy. We got Shout something to, to talk Boozy. about with him later. <laughs> oh god. Um, catfishing nowadays. I feel like you have to. You have to almost be a willing participant. You have to it, mm. ca catfishing nowadays. I say it would be like watching wrestling. You have to suspend your disbelief. You have to be like, on purpose. I'm going to choose to believe what you're telling me that you that your cell phone camera doesn't work and you can't take a picture of yourself and text it to me. You know what I mean? Right, right. Because you want to believe it. Yeah. <laughs> you make yourself want to believe it. It's, it's probably yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, it, it's definitely catfishing true. is just wrestling nowadays because you. There's, there is no fucking way that you could not send me a picture of yourself right now. You know right. what I mean? And if not right now, then in an hour when you get off of work. There's, there's, right. there's no fucking... Yeah, well, you know, so, uh, it's been two years. We talked on the phone paper once. And a paper, write today's date on it. Yeah. Write uh, something. I'm going to give you a secret code right now. Hold it up so I know it's you. Yeah, but there's cats now that are just like, yeah, well, you know, we, we've been dating for two years, and we talked on the phone once, and yeah, uh, she sent me like three pictures, and you're just like, Come on, dude. You deserve, stop. Like you, you deserve yeah. everything coming your way. <laughs> exactly. Here comes that wave. You Take deserve, a deep breath. <laughs> you deserve that shit, nigga. Exactly. Every bit of it. If you get like there was one of those episodes that and it's like the only episode I really watched that um catfish one. I saw a couple, you know, garbage time. Um with the girl uh thought Bow Wow. You ever see that one? The pre she thought yes. Bow Wow was sending her Lil Bow Wow, yep. famous rapper, I uh, did see that one. actor, you know, TV personality, was sending her money. And, like, she said, well, why would you believe that? She said, well, it was believable. Like, I asked for, like, I think it was, like, $20,000. Fucking send her $20,000. And so I was like, well, ain't who the fuck's going to just send you $20,000 <laughs> yeah, $20, yeah, yeah. besides Bow Wow? Of course that shit's believable. Couldn't find out the whole uncovered at all. It was a fucking a gay female, you know. <laughs> she was like, I'm not even gay, though. She said, well, I thought that maybe when I got here, you know, things had changed when you yeah. saw me. Like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, like, you I'm just take it anyway. Love. It's the only way to do it, to pretend to be somebody else. No, and the people I don't get are the ones that are just like, they flash back with them, and like six months later, they check in again. And they're just like, yeah, you know, we still we still keep in touch. I'm like, how? <laughs> yeah, we're working on things. Yo, we're there's literally people that are friends with people they don't like. I don't get it. And you say they're cool. So what yeah. are you hanging on to them for? Like, imagine that story, man. Like hey, yo, like how'd, how'd you two guys meet? Actually, he catfished me. And we're <laughs> Funny <bit>, story. You know, <laughs> yeah. Like, now he's at my wedding party. It's just... I Yeah. God, that's one thing. I just... Uh, <laughs> what a way to meet friends. It's just like... No, I don't know. I bless everybody's heart who, who uh, has that enough in them to be able to marry somebody and have a wedding with them and, and, and have their exes at the wedding. Like, I, I don't know. That's... um. Yeah, that's, some weird... that's a thing I could never do. I don't think you know. It's like, yeah, no. Like I was talking to this this girl in the um, in the, the gas station gas station clerk, and she was talking about stuff where you know, you know, sometimes people just kind of open up their stories to me and let it out red carpet style, you know. Da -da -da, and my baby dad, my man is a uh, my husband. I'm not with him no more. We separated, but we're still close friends. My man that I really like now, I'm in love with, is in jail. And I told him when I was with him, the one that's in jail, that this if you can't accept the fact that me and my 
ex-husband are still cool and close friends, and then this ain't going to work. She goes, and I say that to everybody. I'm like, well, you ain't going to never have nobody then. Yeah. Like, if you constantly got to sit there and tell somebody, like, oh, my ex-husband going to be around all the time. You got to deal with it. If you can't deal with that, we can't be. Like, what are you really doing then? Yeah, like, yeah. Why? You hate this man, this ex-husband. What you're telling me? You don't want to be with him. Or but it's like that. No, we, we don't hate each other, but it's indifferent, and then we're just separated. But, yeah, that's not awkward. I don't know. That line of being awkward to me is that word. I know. But it's, you know, the line of that of this is peculiar to me, man. Why the oh, fuck yeah. am I hanging around your ex? I don't need, like, I know you had exes. I know I wasn't the first dick that been inside you. But I do not need reminders of the dicks that were inside you in my face. You do not need <laughs> the dicks revolving. Right? It's like, oh, yeah. you know, that's funny because I, I had to say that to my girl that I was talking to her. I said, I said, the best way to put it is like, you know, I said, to be honest, what a lot of guys might not tell you, you know, is, you know, it, it's, it sounds strange. Because, you know, a lot of guys don't want to go into that whole being judged as being insecure and all that shit. So I said, but it's just thoughts that come in. Like, I don't know. Like, meeting a, like, if I ran into somebody that I knew was your ex and I'm meeting him and I'm shaking his hand, like, oh, hi. Oh, you're the one that you stick your dick in your mouth. Cool. How's it going? You know, like, yeah. it's, it's stupid. You know what I mean? It's kind of, like, childish. But these are, like, thoughts that can pop in. Like, damn. I think they're normal thoughts. I, I, feel, like I feel like they should be, but they, they make me feel like they're not. <laughs> like, that's not really, you know, but it's just insecurity. That's all it is. But, yeah, but is it, it's it's a thought. I don't like, think it's insecure. I think it's a, you honestly just see the full picture. We're like, right. well, yes, that happened. And, of right. course, then that's all I'm going to think that's about. All you know what I mean? Right. And that's where the REAP people are. It goes, like, Get the fuck out of here. Get it out of here. Listen to me. I'll put you like this. One of my ex-girlfriends cheated on me after seeing the movie Little Red Riding Hood, that new one that came out like seven, eight years ago. So guess what? For the rest of my life, Little Red Riding Hood will, will remind me of. And then now listen, not much happens in my life where I think about Little Red Riding Hood, but every time that happens... Yeah, bitch. <laughs> I'm going to think about that. You know what I'm saying? It's true, man. It, it is what it's, it is. Like that more and, and, and that's what I always separate. And I, I never could when I talked to certain females. Like, yeah, yeah. I said, I said, but you can't sit there and tell me like, like I think about shit. Like, yo, what if that nigga was blowing your back out? Some of the best dick you ever had, and it's just like, well, yeah, we're just cool. We're just friends. You mean to tell me I can't never think that that don't run across your mind? Come on, right. that's kinda, you know what I mean? And that's kind of like. How can you not have that through your mind? If the, you know what I mean? Like that nigga used to slay that dragon. It's like. Well, I mean, he was cool. That's all I remember is that we used to be cool. Like, we right. had, we never had a problem. We were just cool. That's not all you remember. Cut that out. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's I, normal I stuff. I said, that's, not, that's not what you remember. It's normal. You, you you can't let any woman try to tell you that that shit's not normal. That's right. what you think and, about. And that's what I love. I, 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 I always laugh at that one. It's like, come on. You. The thing is, that always kills me what certain uh, certain females do when they when they hit you with that whole, you know, and i said this before. Men are a certain way. You're a dog. And you, how come you could do it? But then when women do it, it's just a... No, listen, if a motherfucker is considered a dog, but the thing is, the difference is, I always say, women, you know what the difference is? We get that title and we accept it. You know what I mean? We have to accept it. The niggas is dogs. All right, I'm out here fucking everything. That's me. All right, you DMX, gave me the title. I got to run with it. Rough Riders. But now when you go out there spreading your legs and fucking everybody and, and you get point, now look at you. You're doing it. No, if a man can do it, like, that's what you're running with? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's the worst case ever. The best answer to that to me is like, I like fucking, bam, nothing wrong with that. You are an active sexual person as much as a male can be that is an act, you know, a sexual active person. You just say it. Look, I enjoy sex. And you'll, you'll be clear because nothing worse than that woman <laughs> sitting there is like, I don't really know. I don't really do. I don't know. It's just, you know, I slept, I slept around, but it's not really to that. Like. No, just admit it. Then. Hey, now listen. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna still judge the shit out of any girl that has slept with that many people because just it, it it anchors back to what you were just talking about of like, okay, there's a thing where you're talking about okay, she might be okay with sleeping with that many people, but you know what? Also, I'm not trying to be in public and literally every time we go grocery shopping, some dude says hi to you. You know what I mean? Like, nope, don't and, need and, that and, ever. And it's, and it's terrible because because it, it all in your head you goes, like you be. Be cool. Don't ask. But you want to ask. How you know that nigga? <laughs> you know yeah. It's like, don't ask because when you're dealing with somebody that's been around a lot, you, you can't help but, I think, have that thought pop in. And when he's all friendly, oh, what's up? It's my boy. Mm -hmm. How is it? Is it your boy boy? Or, like, you, <laughs> exactly. you know, like, help me out. You it's know what I mean? Normal, <laughs> it's normal shit. That's why, like, for me, I'll be honest with you, whenever I'm with a girl, I've had the argument before of, no, I'm not telling you how many people I've been with. 
and that's me saying it to her because they want to have you. that conversation. And I'm just like, I don't want to know how many people you've been with because whatever turn. number it is, I don't like it. I don't like you. Right? It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> it's what, like so, the guessing ballpark whatever number, number I give you, you're not going to like it. Right. So don't worry about it. And, and but I know Who's it's better? Much, <laughs> I, I know it's much easier said than, you know. Right. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's there's a thing to if a girl's sucking your dick and you're like, that's the biggest shit you ever had, huh? And she's not answering you. And you're just like... Oh, lie to me, babe. Lie, lie to me, babe. Lie, <laughs> I know <laughs> it's all about when it's like, we're like, damn, what I've dick were you just thinking too. about? Hmm. Like being with a girl that's you know slip around a lot, and she's like, oh, give me that big dick. You're like, oh, you've had bigger. I know you have. <laughs> you've been. <laughs> I know, yeah, but go ahead. But you, know, but you gotta thugs. pump it. Up. You're pumping up for it. Pump it up. Yeah, yeah. It. it's all about the moment. You know what I mean? It's like, listen, you might not have the tightest pussy, but I'm like, yo, your pussy so tight. Right? Nah, babies come out of there. Cut it out. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? And you probably weren't the tightest. And the women that have the tightest pussy is because they do that little kegel trick. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> there's something going on there. She's she's contracting that shit. You're like, huh? See how tight my pussy is? You just did something. What you did? <laughs> All we're trying to say is, uh, I don't know if Rick James knew she was 15 or not. Who the fuck knows, man? <laughs> but yeah, it, it's uh, yeah, people lie. That's all that means. People, yeah. she could have lied about how old she was. <laughs> He slept with her, thinking she was of age, 18 at least. Because that's three years away from legal age, if you think about it. But still being judged as being a pervert, he would have been. Yeah, if he was 30 years old and she was 18, people are going to look at that funny. Mm-hmm. But technically, she was legal. Um, she could have lied about being 18. There's 15 years that are very developed, man. I've seen yeah. it. we all seen it. Shit. They look at it now. There's high school girls are like, what? She look like a fucking model or something. What kind of milk you, know? you drinking? Right. So now all of a sudden, 15 years after the man's death, which is 40 years after the actual occurrence, Supposed alleged occurrence. That's what, yeah. now you're going. Now you're going to say something. That's a tough call. I don't. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> man. I, I, I mean, I try to have the empathy of a of of a of a, of a, um, a squire, a victim. You know, <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> you know what I mean? A, a, of a of a victim to, to to those kind of acts. You know what I mean? Of yeah. like I said, I got close people to me in my in my family and and, and friends that I know that actually have been raped in, or, or molested. And you know what I mean? It's it's a certain way that they they carry themselves about it. And and not like uh, either you took it to your grave or you try to say something to uh, you know what I mean and not yep. like thirty years later and then I say something but then I I listen to them and it's like well you know there's a fear thing it's a, a fear of being in the spotlight if they, and, and it's like I guess so you know what I mean I, I I get that part but then it's like why you got an epiphany forty five years later you know what I mean? mm. <laughs> like if you had that fear you always had it now all of a sudden you had this fifty year epiphany like, I got that's it I'm yeah. brave now I'm brave I know well, he's and dead. especially I think if anything. Just the the number that this woman is suing him for sounds like that shot in the dark that you want that settlement because she's suing him for fifty million dollars and I did not say fifteen I said five zero fifty <sighs> one million for every 50. year that passed that it happened <laughs> fifty years ago is yeah. a million for each year no and each then, year just since he died since right. it happened is even fucking right 40 so then it's like is she's gonna have to pump up every thing that happened. Bad Joe in Budden. her life, everything. We had pump, pump it up. Every every bad thing of of her unsuccessfulness in life was due to the. You know, it's gonna be the whole Rick James ruin. Emotional, my life. right? Rick James ruined my life, and I think fifty million will make me get over it. Yep. You know, you think about it, it's like Rick James is dead. So, what justice are you getting from it? At this point, you're just you're just it's getting that money. financial. You're just getting money, and, and like I don't I don't respect that. If you couldn't go after the man when he was a fucking alive. Don't go after him when he's dead. That's some fuck. That's cowardly. If a man could be have a cowardly act, then that's a cowardly act from a woman to do some shit like that. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's it's the Wizard of Oz cowardly lion. <laughs> Bars. A, there's manes. There's there's dogs. Poodles. You know what I mean? Toto. Speaking <laughs> of um, other wild shit that's going on, and uh, you got the call from Louisiana, Lil Boozy, who I don't. I'm not sure if his name is Lil Boozy anymore. It might just be Boozy Badass. It might be Boozy, Booze. but. He commented on um, the Dwayne Wade situation with his mm. son. Mm. Now, uh, Dwayne Wade, he his son had come out as daughter, gay. His daughter to a son, I thought it was. A lime to a lemon. My <laughs> DC lemon. <laughs> I'm, try, it's good, it's good, I'm trying to figure it out, man. It's his. He said it right. It's his son now. I was saying no, born, no, no. It was born a son. Born son. Now transition to woman. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was the other way around. <laughs> Niggas is out here. But he could have sworn it was about his daughter, wasn't it? 
Well, that's now Dwayne He's Wade switched exactly <laughs> bars. I'm alive. Dwayne I'm Wade switched um, his whole my daughter, real my quick. Daughter, so now daughter, it's my right. daughter, my daughter, my got daughter. You, got you. Because I believe from a young age, um, Dwayne Wade was saying from like three years old, they said they knew, his right? child knew. Um, see, I'm 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 pausing because I don't know whether to say he <laughs> or she. Right. His child knew that they were female, right. and um. And then I guess came out as gay, homosexual on the like male 13, side, right? and then now, but now they're the, the child's only twelve now or 12, thirteen. 12, 13, right? So oh, it's That's confusing, man. Yeah. I, I, but it's it's tough because man, it's like I, I go back to my observation days, man, and it's like I feel like I seen that kid, man. I've seen that kid that you knew. You felt like you knew he was going to be gay or something. You know what I mean? At yeah. young age, like I didn't understand it at being young that that. You just understand he was different than like most of the other boys mm-hmm. or most of other girls. It was just yeah. different, and you could chalk it up to tomboy for the girls, you know. Yep. But it was almost like, no, it was something there that it was. And I, I bring it back to chromosomes, man. People can be born with different. We have we have a DNA makeup. We have chromosomes in us, man. If you have more X, like hormones are a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like yep. there are estrogen and there are fucking testosterone. Those things exist. So if you're born with fucking more estrogen in your body and you're you're fucking, you know, what I mean, it's. It's, it's just something that's happening there. You, and you know? it's, it's interesting, too, because there's even a um, a suspected link when it's, you know, when those families that have like seven, eight fucking siblings, they right. seven, eight kids, you know, they always say like the younger ones near the bottom are usually so some type of. Defect. Well, well, I, I know, I, I I know the word defect. defect. Sorry, <laughs> I don't mean shit. I know. Listen, I'm not saying everyone's defected if you have something different about you. Listen, I have. I was born with not good vision in my left eye. Uh, you know what I mean. I had a ganglial cyst over my left eye. Uh, it was a birth defect. No, it was. It was I was different. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Proceed. <laughs> but a lot of people, um, they've said, you know, when the families have seven or eight kids, you know, kid seven or eight, right. it's a good chance that they're going to be um, gay or bi or something. You right. know, one of the alphabets. It's, it's, it's true. Which I'm, is, uh, it, it's all interesting. I think they'll, they'll figure it all out eventually. And, and, think, uh, and I don't mean figure it out as I mean funny, solve it. I just parents, mean figure it out as I'm understand about it. it now because both of my parents are um, one of six. My mother's the baby, and it was three and three, three and three. Um, but I, not my mother's side. I don't yeah. anybody, unless it was closet stuff. But uh, <laughs> nobody, <laughs> no none of the men or, or women came out gay. But on my father's side, my Aunt Marie, she definitely, you know, she, she fell into there. But she wears, she wears a flannel or two. Right, but my mother, <laughs> like, she has, she was born with, like, a defect kind of with one of her arms, like, not as long uh-huh. as the other one. You know what I mean? So, like, you know, <laughs> I know. So, I so when Ma would try to hit you, you move to the right a little bit. Like, ah, you got to reach <laughs> right, on the right, Ma. Right. <laughs> right, so anytime Mom's was in the front seat, you want to sit behind the driver's side because it's the left hand. So if she had to pop you, it was yep. a it was a T-Rex. It might be a graze. It was a T-Rex reach, nigga. It was a T-Rex reach. <laughs> but uh, you know, I you know, I like I guess defect is the bad word to use. I don't mean defect, but I mean when I say defect, I mean anything could be defect. Like if I'm making a hundred if I'm making these bottles, all right, I'm making millions of these bottles, and I'm pressing they're all pressing out the machine, they're coming out perfect. One comes out like that. You know what I mean? That's a fucking defect. It's not like, oh, no, it's just, he's different. No, it's not the way these things were made normally. So it's kind of a defect in, of the normal makeup. You know what I mean? Mm. It's like I want people to see that and, and not be like, we were just saying people that are different are defective. No. If you're born with six fucking fingers, majority of people do not have six fingers. It's not normally <laughs> yeah, yeah. how we come out. So it, it's a defect in a way of the normal DNA makeup of mankind you know what i mean mm-hmm. it's like come on i'm not making this shit up how are babies born man <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny come on i'm not making this shit up dog i mean like how are babies yeah, born man that imaginary man, argument dog <laughs> man and a female they get it on man sperm goes inside the egg babies come out man it's a thing you know it's it's how we procreate so that don't shit. take it away from it not being normal well it's a thing too where i know we were talking a little bit last week about um how words that used to mean something now mean another thing. Now, like, there's straight up people using the verbiage of like men can get pregnant, and then if somebody says men can't get pregnant, they could get quote canceled online for saying men can't get pregnant. And you know, it's like, 
what the fuck's going on? No, if it can't like, happen, if it can't happen naturally, then it's not <laughs> exactly. a thing that can happen. Yeah, they can but do all kinds you, of science shit. Now man. people go with the gender identi- identity. Like, if I have sex with a human being that has a vagina, but they identify as a man, it's it's all over the place now. It's um. It's weird. So then it gets odd when people get offended to where I don't know how you expect me to be hip to all the rules so quick, you know, of this like is new new information that's coming in. And, yeah. And like fastball you're, speed rate. <laughs> you're 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 a human being that has a vagina that wants to be called a man. So, you know, give me some time to catch up. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. Give me some time to catch up. <laughs> give me a moment for like you discover something new in your life and you're upset because I'm not hip to this. Yeah. Shit. Like, OK, I don't know. Uh, I get it. You feel different, but I, I don't know the process of, you know, the genre and the jargon I'm supposed to approach you and talk to you. It's like, man, you're creating a whole new thing here. And it's I feel like There's everybody's rules. everybody's <laughs> too, too quick to get angry at it. Like you just invented this new game and I don't know the rules. And now you're mad at me because I don't know how to play the game. So it's like, give me a second. Cause, right. Man, somebody <laughs> will call. Um, What did and I can't think of name. Caitlyn Jenner mm. used to be. Bruce, 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 Bruce Jenner. Jenner. Yep. Now, apparently, if you ever even refer that that was a thing, you're dead naming the person, and it's a big hubbub right. of like you're, you're like not so, you're something. not supposed to even mention that it used to be, and uh, oof, it got weird. Bashing, I think. But I what know. we were talking about is um, Dwayne Wade and his son that would like to be called she now, mm-hmm. um, and like I said, Lil Boozy, Boozy badass, uh, came out with. A video that um, I'll play uh, so people will be able to hear the audio. And the calls from St. Louis just don't stop. So maybe. uh, (laughs) From the Lou and I'm proud. Go ahead and listen. All right. I'm back. Hit the red button because we hit button. They can leave a message. Um, (laughs) Yeah. So Dwayne Wade's child. And then um, it, you know, came out. He went on a bunch of talk shows. Everything that his male born child now wants to be called she. And uh, there was, the, you know, the Brave Parade happens after that where is everybody. Brave you, Parade. Is that, is that what it's called? Uh, it's what I just I, called I, it. I like yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> where, you know. I think they would run with it if they heard that. Yeah. The, the Brave Parade. I love it. <laughs> where everybody comes out and everything's all good. And um, <laughs> Boozy is the only person that was like, no, man. But well, let me play it first and then we'll, we'll, oh, okay. we'll talk about we'll tell, it. Yeah. I gotta say something about this shit, bro. Dwayne Wade, you gone too fucking far, dog. That is a male. A 12 year old. And 12, they don't even know, they don't even know what their next meal gonna be. They don't they don't have shit figured out yet. He might meet a, a, a woman, anything at 16 and fall in love with her. But his dick be gone. How you gon' like bro, that's it's, it's you going too far, dog. Don't cut his dick off, bro. Like, bro. For real. If he gonna be gay, let him be gay. But don't cut his dick off, bro. Like, don't address him as a woman, dog. He's 12 years old. He don't... He's not... He's not up there yet. He, he hasn't made his final decisions yet. Don't cut his fucking dick off, Dwayne Wade, bro. You fucking tripping, dog. You tripping, dog. You tripping, dog. All right. So he wasn't really bashing anybody. He just said the, what we be talking about, like their mental state of a person at that age is not really in the decision making. Yeah, they don't know. Like you said, they don't even know how to wipe their ass properly at that time. Yep. You know what I mean, it's like, and a lot of people were quick to bash him on saying that, but I think he does bring up some good points. And then there's always right. the back and forth of, well, I don't believe Dwayne Wade talked yet about uh, gender reassignment surgery. I don't know if Dwayne Wade has actually mentioned like. Oh, I'm going to get my son a vagina now because my son now wants to be, you know, identified as a female. So right. we're getting the sex change. So I don't think that that was even brought up yet. But I get what Boozy is saying, where obviously Dwayne Wade could afford one. And right, he's like, no problem, son. Like that'd be his graduation gift. You know what I mean, like yeah, he got the money to do that shit. Like, all right, no dick for you. Graduation, got it. Exactly. You know? Like you want your <clears throat> sex change instead of the the car. You know, so it's. It's wild, but yeah, a lot of people shitting on Boozy, of course, with just because maybe his delivery was not as, as smooth as it could have been. His his delivery was a little bit harsh, but right. I also get it too. Of yeah, the man, the kid can't 
say his own bedtime, but he can, you know. He could decide he's going to be. Because that's the thing, too. And even I saw a lot of people talking about, like, well, they can't do gender reassignment until they're 18, but they can start them on hormones now. Right. Because there were people, it was the big thing in Canada, they were doing it to, like, fucking four years old, four-year-olds, giving them fucking hormone pills and shit. And it's like, yo, I don't know, man. I don't know about science and how because yeah, now a lot great. of people but you know everyone's an expert on twitter where they're saying like no you can safely stop somebody from getting their uh you know p- um period uh no no their puberty from hitting puberty oh. and then just restart it later in life and i'm like doesn't that sound a lit like a lot right. you for, know what i'm for, saying for people that especially people that are against all kind of gmos and shit like isn't that some yeah. kind of genetically modified situation you're doing yeah but yourself? you, you <laughs> but you want an organic <laughs> apple <laughs> Come on, dog. It's like you're changing all kinds of organic. Like these are, like, be what you are and enjoy what you enjoy. Just leave your body the way it is. Then you know what I mean. Why do you gotta alter shit? You know what I mean. In order to like, like why do you gotta get a, a a phallus penis that you put rods and attach it to the fucking? <laughs> I'd like to ask the Christian Church why you gotta alter shit. Listen. You know what I mean. It's like it was this whole thing, man. I mean, I think me and my lady were at. She was at. We were talking about it, and I was like, well, what? How is it like? What do they do? How do they? How do they get it going and shit? So we actually looked up <laughs> some shit. How, we looked up some shit, and it was like there was this transgender person that was going for the whole. It's, it's I forgot the name of the going procedure. for the gold. I going for the fellas. Yeah, for let's see. I don't know the fucking name of the procedure, but uh, yeah, it, and it's like you, there's an apparatus they fucking attach to it, and it like fucking cranks it up, kind of almost. You know what I mean? It's it's almost like a oh pump, to to get a hard on to get a hard on for a, you know it's a it's a penis that was a put there like how there's no connection to me that you can you can't put that horny horny connection to go to send to get that blood pump I don't unless they can I don't know but I feel like <laughs> you know but the, when she was saying it was like this whole kind of fucking apparatus you gotta like like fucking you like oh honey we'll be, and I gotta prep to fuck you know like you. you <laughs> <laughs> With the little, just the little crank on the side is. <laughs> I feel like ratchets oh, involved. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Got the whole hood scared. Yeah. Why? Because a penis was put there. <laughs> it is. It, it was like okay, that's a lot to do for a something that you're not even. They don't even really feel it. They're, they're doing it for to please the woman, but if she wants to. No, but she wants to be with a man, and you want to be a man, so you're the man. Okay, but the only thing you're getting out of it as the person with the fake penis is pleasing her. Oh, they don't feel? They don't, they don't get pleasure out of it, really. Yeah, they don't. They, they can't really put the nerves in there to get that feeling. You know what Damn. I mean? So it's, it's one of those things where they can so they're at like the feel I- wet skin, you know what I <laughs> mean? <laughs> they're at the iPhone right now. They can, <laughs> eventually, they'll get to that iPhone 10. You're right. <laughs> it's, it's like, you got the first one? Uh, yeah. When they get to that point, it's like, whoa, there's going to be all kinds of receptors, I'm sure. You got to go get your dick updated. <laughs> you ain't update your, <laughs> update your shaft yet, nigga? Telling you they got this new program. B. Update your dick. I update your dick. You're gonna have the new program have your shit rock solid, B. You gonna feel everything. Word. But because the more people are into that and they're doing it, the more research is gonna come out of it. The more people that yeah. are it's gonna be a guy that's a doctor and he's gonna be a part of that community and he's gonna be like hell. It's gonna be someone that does it to themselves. Right. That's he's what gonna, it's gonna he's be. It's gonna be like Frank and Dick, you know what I mean? Like Frankenstein dick. <laughs> Screws here, bolt there, and jump start that shit's gonna have a fucking motor on it. <laughs> generator under your balls. <laughs> I don't mean to be making jokes or things, but hey, it's new, it's fresh. I don't really know, but With you the can... cock muffler. <laughs> <laughs> I just got this new edition. It's like you hear that? Because that's the thing. You know, I, of course, with anything, someone's going to take it too far. You know what I mean? Right. Where it's going to end up looking like that fucking hentai porn, which is like, right. bro, you, I mean, you, I, uh, I, I'm just why envisioning is something, you know, I, three feet long coming out of your pants. What the right? fuck are you doing? All I can see is like just some dude that's now a new dude and he's like fucking rip coordinating the fucking. <laughs> in the parking lot of a Denny's. I get this shit going, B. She about to be here any minute. <laughs> it's like my battery's died. You know, when a nigga can't get hard and shit, he's got other excuses. Like, yo, my battery's died. <laughs> Instead of uh, AAA, they'll have somebody come and jump it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the dick doc. He comes mm-hmm. out. Dr. Dick, come, Dr. Richard coming out. <laughs> hey, you got a problem in the aisle, too? Get that shit right, nigga. <laughs> oh, my God. So, what the fuck is happening on the uh, Watermelon vs. Pumpkin podcast? This, uh, 
and, and I know some of you are thinking, like, are they bashing? No, these are conversations that people need to have because there are people like us out there that are just fucking confused to the shit. That's all. It's like, yeah, you want to do it, but then it's, can't you just, like, want to be gay? Or, like, just do it? Why do you have to have everything? I don't know. It's like, I feel yeah. like a man, but you could feel like a man, but you don't have to look like one, too, do you? <laughs> I, I honestly feel, I, guess. I feel bad for the, um, people that have that in them that that feel it you know what i'm saying right. I, i'm not saying i don't because it's, it's, it's a lot of i just feel bad because that's that's a hell of a journey that they have to go on right no it's it's a dare we say brave it's a brave one to take everything's brave everything's brave but uh it, it's one of those things man where it is it is a crazy feeling like i can't never speak for somebody in those in those shoes you know i can only say hey i am who i am and i i love me for me uh, and I as believe long as they love Popeye the Sailor Man had a similar <laughs> look at slogan. <laughs> I am who I am. I am, I am. But I mean, as long as they fucking love themselves and they're out there fucking hurting nobody, man, hey, do whatever you want to do. But let's love not make myself. a big deal about it all the time. You know, I don't know. It's like, yeah, just do it. Mikey, <laughs> this Nike, yo, Nike should cut the check. Just do it. Because I think the niggas just, you know, just do mm -hmm. the shit, man. You want to put a penis on yourself? Do it. And shut the fuck up and do it. We don't care. Because <laughs> you don't care how many bitches I fuck. You don't care about my, my dick getting sucked. Like, my dick sucked last night. I tell a gay guy that. Hey, listen, I fucked so many girls last week. I just want to let you know that I'm a heterosexual and I fuck women and I love doing it. And you should really celebrate that with me. They'd be like, Go I will say, loser. I would try to put it as you don't need a stranger's approval to do what you want to do. Exactly. Oof, hundred percent. Let's drop some bars, bars over listen, here. Man. Just like this gentleman in uh, Virginia, mm. the the um, from CBS Baltimore. The headline reads. Virginia deputies confront black man wearing KKK robe outside of Target. Yes, I, <laughs> I love it, man. Uh, let uh, me read here. Bigsby. Stafford Courthouse, VA. <laughs> a black man wearing a Ku Klux Klan robe at the Virginia Target told mm. deputies he was performing a social experiment. I the Stafford say, that's County what I Sheriff's that was, Office I say, was, it some kind of experiment? was called to the Target store at the Stafford Marketplace around 2.30. Investigates of somebody wearing a Ku Klux Klan outfit. Uh, Sean Kimmett said the video stated they learned that the man inside the robe was black and did not live in the area. Um, and they, he put he a statement out. The, was? Yeah, what did he say? Uh, that, well, this just real quick. The cop said, uh, this afternoon we responded to reports of a subject wearing a KKK outfit at the Stafford Marketplace. Deputies made contact with, su with the subject who claimed he was conducting a social experiment. He was warned on wearing a mask in public and he left the scene. So they basically That's just told the said. guy, don't you, wear can't, that mask. you can't wear a mask in public, and uh, he That's, left. They don't say that to the Klan. That's weird. I don't really see the Klan out there like that, dog. But, I, but they're still around, lingering. They were around for the old Trump rallies and shit. They were, they're lingering. But you know what's funny? They don't cover their face. That's they're what I was going to say. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They took the eyes out. It's just a hat. That's right. It's no longer the ghost look. It's the more pointed. <laughs> fucking ghost like dog, Like the Bishop yo. Pope look, you know what I mean? <laughs> yo, the Pope a Klan man? Oh, no, that's not the Pope. <laughs> it's a similar hat, kind of similar. It's very regal. <laughs> but I enjoy that uh, that's, uh, Dave Chappelle skits are coming to life. Yeah, Bigsby. I'm, what, I mean, was he saying anything? That's the whole thing. Is like He said he was in. conducting a social experiment. So See how many black people would punch him in the face? That <laughs> might, <laughs> well, that's what I'm thinking. Like That might have been the thing of like... See how close how people, he gets to something, then take right. off the mask. How many people should? How many people are willing to challenge him and his beliefs? And see if anyone's head really explodes when you take off the mask and you're a black guy. <laughs> it's like a blind black dude in a clan outfit. Like, how do you feel putting that on? Even like, did, were you smiling underneath it? Like, <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, I feel like there's just better things to do with your time. You I can, feel like they almost wanted a. I don't know. They just wanted something bigger to happen than what did happen. Because right. now the only thing about that story that's wild is that it was a black guy that did it. You know what right. I mean? Oh, instead of like, I don't know, a bigger. It it's, was almost like the, the the thing about the story is now just like, huh? Why'd you do that? Right. You know what I mean? Like, why, I feel why, like you right. would, would want was, something bigger. Where were you going with it? That's what I want to know. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I'd have to like hear more of his explanation. Like, what was your experiment about? Explain what was your angle, like. Pretending to be a Klansman in 2020, I, I don't know. Like, what, what is your angle? Like, like you said, they probably stay. Yeah, they got their little rallies and shit, but they're not marching around like that. The motherfuckers ain't. I mean, maybe in certain cities, I can't say that because I'm only talking about my state and cities. Yeah, you know, what I mean, I'm pretty sure that Virginia and those guys probably still got those motherfuckers freely, like freelance. I imagine it in the backwoods of oh, you know wherever. There. Like, there's people that know people, and yeah. yeah. I mean, you've seen it during the Trump shit. There was some of them out there. Jews will not replace us, like with tiki torches. Fuck are y'all doing, man? Right. <laughs> like, 
burning crosses and shit still? Is that what we doing? And it's funny. I always think about that one. Like they were burning crosses, and they were supposed to be very religious people. I, uh, they really. It just it just goes into the idiocracy of that whole like, you niggas is just. That's what y'all do, huh? Very religious. The Bible Belt. You talking about the Southern Bible yeah. Belt? Them motherfuckers is all about religion and the Lord and all that. And it's like we're gonna burn this cross. Why? why, why? Well, that's your symbolization of you. But that's why we're saying we're gonna burn it for them. Bible's cross. We're gonna let them know that they're not wanted in Jesus' name. <laughs> like, what the? It's fuck? so weird. Like it's um. I've I've commented this on Twitter before, where I've been like, you know, some people will shit on some white people for doing something, and I've I've comment where i'm just like listen i'm 36 years old i've been white forever and we don't know these people like you know there's just like how chris rock um so bravely um separated black people into a few different kinds and and, and stand up before Mm. man i'll tell you it's the same goddamn thing on on the on the side of the white people where there's Listen, I we got I'm buckets white. Too. Like I know you gotta yeah. explain yourself. Like we got buckets. Too. <laughs> I'm white, but there's some people who are like, oh, that's that's a different shade, brother. Yeah. That's a different right. shade. You got redneck white. You got yeah high privilege. You white. got the uppity white. Right. You got, you you, got you the got just your dumb trashy, fucking you got your trashy white. white. I mean, look, it's everywhere. You got your super hood black. You got your I left the hood and I don't care about it, black. You know, <laughs> yeah, I'm never looking back. Ooh, I'm never those looking people. back, black. I hate my culture. Ooh, get away from me. You yep. know what I mean? Like, they're they're out there, man. You know. Yeah. And then you got the you know you got the white guy who hates all white people. You know what I mean? It's uh-huh. just like I wish I wasn't white. I hate myself. I hate you people. The the basically <laughs> the the apologist of just like oh my god, I'm so sorry what we what we did. You can't be apologetic, man. It's it, it wasn't your fault. Um, you can say it's fucked up, man, but hey, I'm here, of course. and I don't do that shit, and I go forward, man. You want to move with me or what? <laughs> like, we yeah. going to swim in this goddamn pool or what, man? We, me and you, nigga, come on. Get a paddle, you get a paddle, and we up the river. Is that what we going to do, or are you going to sit here and just still talk about shit that happened back then? Yeah, that we didn't do and we weren't involved in, <laughs> right. but we can still argue about it for our... Right. Let's argue about great Who's greats. winning what? Right. You know? Great, 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 what's your great, 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 nigga? Remix. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's what we doing right now. We talking about some people fucking 300 years ago that did some fucked up things and we got to sit here and come argue about them listen that's giving too much energy to those motherfuckers who weren't shit anyways the strug you know what i'm saying like them niggas weren't shit and uh <laughs> and they aren't here, shit right they aren't shit weren't shit still won't be shit and we out here still putting fuel in a fire of existence come on man yo put fuel in your own fire <laughs> fuel for the fire it made me go nigga i believe it was metallica <laughs> that said give me fuel give me fire give me double check this out <laughs> So niggas, no shit. So that was um, Lil Boosie signing off. <laughs> By the way, there we spurred off into a couple of things. Was that wait? No, we we passed Lil Boosie story. What's the second one? Uh the uh, the KKK the KKK member, yeah, the black KKK member. I just like to bring it back to Boosie yep. because he was no, really but upset. I'm saying, man. Hey, listen, <laughs> I, I'll say I don't know when the right time is for a sex change. But I would say probably not at twelve. So I can say I agree with him too. But and right. it's, and if, it's if also that's what, if that's what the biggest gripe is. If he's talking about like going through the whole change and uh, yeah, it's also comical how he puts it, where he's just like, "No, don't don't cut his dick off, man." Like, <laughs> no, it's like I'm but sorry, but that's Dwayne, funny. It is. You're going too far, Dwayne. Oh, mm-hmm. cut his dick off, bro. <laughs> like like you like Dwayne's up there with the fucking scalpel. Like we're going in. Yeah. Like. Right, like know. like Dwayne bought the at home kit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, honey, you wanna you wanna prep for the occasion? <laughs> to have a fucking a sex gender change party. He sits down with his son daughter and just <sighs> we're uh, we're gonna have to cancel it. <laughs> Boozy said no. <laughs> Boozy said no, honey. Sorry, when sorry, Boozy babe. says go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> The last nigga that didn't listen to Boozy. Well, it didn't work out too well for him. Right. <laughs> or her. Uh, you know, Dwayne, I, I, just do it. I don't know. My whole thing is like, w- what was it, a publicity ploy for that? Why not just do it behind closed oh, doors man, and accept that- it and make it a thing? You know what I mean? Why did it have to be so... We want to... We, and, and what they do with a lot of celebrities and shit, you know what I mean? It goes into, we're using our platform. We're yeah, using yeah. our platform to make a voice. Which I can understand that because people follow these celebrities like they're gods. So that, I mean, mm-hmm. I understand that, you know, but then when you look at it from the other side, it's like, man, you just doing it for that? You know what I mean? That's you, true, too, because I, I'll be honest with you. When I read it, I'm like, oh, cool. We can talk about that on the podcast. Right. But me as a person, me as Sam, when I read it, I go, all right. 
You know what I mean? Like it, it doesn't. There's no fuel there, there, there is no, no like. Guts. Like this is yeah. pissing me off. You know <laughs> exactly. I mean? like, it, it's no. Because because that's the other thing too is. Else's life. <laughs> I, I say that to say then like, yeah. What was the announcement about? <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like like why did you feel to go grand with Whoa. like? She's, I have an announcement to make. Announcement. My child, my child's gonna make a. It's, it's a transgender, and we're learning about it. And now we, now you know. I think it's just that they, but you see, we're in such an era right now that they didn't need to do that because nobody's gonna shame them or say anything because we're in that era where that's shunned upon. You don't do that. Yeah. You don't talk about like, yo, you hear, you hear, Dwayne's Wade kids might be gay. Oh no, he might be transgender. Oh, like people are like, how dare you? You don't. Yeah, yeah. Nobody that's what I said. Like yeah. most people were shitting on Boozy for even be like, "Oh my God, how dare you!" That you know, every, like I said, everybody's so brave. Don't cut your dick off, man. <laughs> hey, and I'd say, man, I agree with that part. Don't do yeah, it. Right. Don't cut your dick. You know, to grow up a little, man. Just, just you know, it's that's what I was always told when I was young. Don't be in too much of a hurry to grow up. You know what I mean? Right. Because that's people talking to you that have to pay bills and have to do everything else. And I think it would probably be, you know. Yo, the people, and not saying that it's like that, but but the people that have sexual experiences and delve too deep into sex when they are too young, mm -hmm. they always end up fucked up. You know it's, what I mean? It's, right. I mean, when you're so when you're tough, slugging and plugging at 11, 12 years thing. old, man, it's it's it, it it messes up your your balance of 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 relationships going forward. I think, man, it's true. Yeah. I I think about even being exposed to sex for me at a young age that kind of. Set me down a path of, of 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 you know being aware of that shit and you know being a porn head and you know what I mean like I was yeah. watching that shit at young I was pants rubbing and shit at like six years old man and mm -hmm. like like I'm now I think about it like that's probably not a normal thing for or is it I don't like I'm like I don't know but I'm like I feel like no because I think about it now as a father like my my kid better not be fucking pants rubbing right you know I mean at six seven years old but you know. I mean, shit, man. Yeah, like, I would say that that is it was it definitely was, it, real young. And when I'm you're sure exposed it to it, man, yeah, everything and it, it, it shapes your opinion. Of the act of, you know, almost. And, yep. like, I mean, I'm watching a porno, probably, I don't know. First time I saw a porno, I might have been 10, maybe? 10 yeah. or 11. You know, that's fucking young, man. It's like, young. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not, we're, yeah. not talk, we're not talking about, like, you know, finding that Playboy and getting a nipple shot, which is still young, and I still used to see them shits. And, ooh, yep. ooh, you know, and then having an older brother, you know, he going to see the shit first and put me on to it. Mm -hmm. Look at this right here. What you think about this when you see? And he just stared at you looking for your expression because I'm confused, and I'm like, I don't know what to do, and then things are happening inside. I feel funny, and this nigga already knows, so he's laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at you, look at you. I just want to look at your face when you're all red and shit. Like, come on, man! You put a pussy in my face, and I'm like eight. What do you want me to do? <laughs> oh my you know god! I mean? Tell like, that uh, to the cop the next time you get pulled over, brother. <laughs> well, what happened was, <laughs> officer, <my brother. laughs> officer, listen. Bottom line, you put a pussy in my face at eight years old. What do you want me to do? No, sir, you were going 55 and a 25. I repeat. I repeat. <laughs> you put a pussy in front of my Hey, what you want me to do? <laughs> Run and tell somebody, probably, uh, right? Uh, you want to go snitch on a nigga? I don't know. It's my big day, brother. Sir. He would have beat me up every fucking day if I fucking snitched on him. You look at the pussy and go, wow, bro, thanks. What was that? Wow, I'm going to go in this bathroom now and do weird things. <laughs> the worst thing, though, is back because, you know, when I got into porn, you know, the first thing <laughs> that you get into true. is, you know, it's the older stuff unfortunately because you you can't get to the good stuff and <laughs> Which available. man just so many back in the day in just those magazines they women did not shave man no. it was just and it's you know it's funny man it's so crazy i think because of that first intro that i have a little thing for i like a little bit here i don't like the big crazy bush but i like a natural little bush sometimes it's weird man I think it's because of my first intro to porn, man. It's That's bad. weird because like, I went the other way, where I was like, yeah. now because uh, me, but also obviously we were looking at the same magazines, <laughs> but you know. Nah, my first intro was them bushes, man. I kind of, and it's funny, like I don't want like a big crazy wild bush coming down a leg, but just yo know, having some grass on the field. I, I'm a fan of. I'm not a, you know, it's, I like the feeling of when they shave a smooth ball. I like that feeling. I'm not a big fan of the, the 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 like the look almost. You know what I mean? I yeah, don't know. Yeah. You know, in a sense, it's like I don't like the way that I like to see hair down there. Because as Jay Z would say, young. Yeah! Right. I, yeah. I guess maybe that's what it is. Like, yeah, it's just like, mm -hmm. it's like yeah, I'm with the purity yet. It feels funny, but it feels great. <laughs> <laughs> like kissing down there, but like you know, what I mean, taking care of your woman is like, oh, it's it's smooth. I can fucking rub my face on like lotion. You know what I mean? Without <laughs> prickles, you know. But from a look at it, it's like ah. 
Yeah, it's nice, but I don't know. I feel like just needs to be something there. Leaving a little strip, you know, a little lowercase i is good for me. You know what I mean? But just something. I, I usually like a little something. Babe, go ahead and put this fake mustache down here until I come back. <laughs> until I come back. Get a little Fu man chew on that box. <laughs> Get that Hulk Hogan on the sides for me one time. Do it upside down even. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think a lot of it is, uh, you know, like you said, you're saying, man, it's just being ex- when you're exposed to something so young, man, it's, it, it really you don't understand it. You know, and I think that's the same thing with 12. It's like especially 12, man, it's such a critical part in hormones and, and, and your, your pecking order. You're trying to you're like really trying to find yourself amongst your peers. I yeah. Mean, 12, 13, that's that middle school shit. You're really trying to find kind of what bucket you belong in with people. Yep. So, it's like and I've- something that somebody on Twitter brought up that, like I said, I, I won't say I agree or disagree, but I think it's a good point is about how does this kid know what transgender is right now? Probably because it's a hot button issue and it's the big thing right now. That's probably even why the kid knows what transgender even is. Right. Because I just feel like it's a, I don't know, man. I don't know what was happening with me at 12 years old, but I feel like it was probably just a million hormones and a million feelings and you're so many things are happening for the first time it's yeah. uh well, i had my first girlfriend at 12 so that was you know right at that time and I, mm-hmm. a lot of that was like you know you know you get these those weird feelings and it, you know i had like like i said my older brother and the older cats was around and it, you know they push it on you because it's like you niggas is pushing for this shit huh? you just want me to have a baby huh like <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a baby you know what i mean like yo go get that you know it's that brotherly pride my brother getting pussy at 12. you know mm-hmm. what i mean i didn't but it was that whole like I felt the pressure there, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it, yeah. you don't really know what's going on. It's kind of like, yeah, I want a girlfriend, but I, I kind of want to go hang with my boys right now and play some football. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? It's that whole like I'm trying to kind of get to that like you know you like girls and but then you're like you kind of still want to hang with your boys and shit, you know, and that's okay at twelve. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like look, 12, anybody, 12, 12. anybody getting married at thirteen, man, you don't please don't have those ideas. Uh, you know, then there's guys that are just ladies, men, and that, that's you know I don't want to hang with the fellas anyways. I rather hang with the women. You know, or become one. I don't there's know. there's no, guys that fight with it their entire lives, then going back and forth between the being whipped and be, yeah, oh, but I want to hang out with my guys, but I'm a yeah. Right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's, it's balance, a struggle. Man. Yeah, it's balance. It's just yo, and there's some friends. It's it's wild in life. You will lose friends to and and not lose friends as in you're mad at them. It it, it just you. Some people. They go. <laughs> they just go. They just go. There's like oh no, and I got a girl, and then uh, well you know. Right. We'll I talk one day. Life. Right. And you know what's always tough, man? I think it, uh, when it happens like that is because I think it, those friendships sometimes, sometimes they... they, they what about your friends? Right? <laughs> sometimes they, they, they seem to gel and go together when, like, like say if that person, like, your friend's now in a committed relationship, and then you are. And then it's like, okay, we're doubling, I'm hanging out. And it's like, yeah. you know what I mean? You got that flow going. You know, but it's 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 almost difficult when somebody who's single and then somebody's in a committed thing is like, "Well, single, like, I'm, I'm doing what the fuck I want when I want." You know what I mean? Yep. You, you, are you good? You got it? You got plans already? Or you got something to do? Or you know what I mean? Not the guy that's like, "I can't go because my girls get let me go." <laughs> yeah, Not yeah. that guy. I'm talking about the guy that's just like, "I'm committed to like, I got shit to do. Like, we're going mm-hmm. out tonight, or we're doing this." Like, you got to make sure around that schedule. Like, the single guy's like, "Yo, what up? We getting up? We look, yeah, I'm there." You know yep. what I mean? It's you know, it's a different ball game. You know, and I remember saying this before to you know my lady about even like. Like, you know, if you're hanging with an opposite sex friend, like, you know, I think that if that opposite sex friend is single and you're not, it's always going to be a weird thing for that relationship thing is like, yeah, but yeah, I trust you. But does it like, can he just have a girlfriend around and like have them all come around and we all kind of like, you know, what I mean, like, can we just make this a big thing? Mm. (laughs) Like everybody hang out, but it's like, you know, it's it's a it's a weird situation. But uh, at the end of the day, don't cut your dick off, man. Don't cut your boozy. <laughs> the boozy said. Heard don't it from your, boozy first. Don't cut your dick off, man. Uh, and uh, this is no shot at nobody of the transgender community. It's just questions, and and that really don't need answers. Just questions. Uh, Bars. You know what I mean? It's just. And what I found out, that's what the Q stands for. Questions. Questionable. Ah. We thought it was queer because I've heard them say that before. I've heard. You know, gay oh, music. in L. L. Yeah, the, the whole acronym. The Q was for questionable or question. Yeah, questionable. So you don't know really what. I'm like, well, isn't that everybody? <laughs> well, right? they do know. But they do know exactly what. But I maybe it is for the young 12 years old that are questionable. Yeah, I'm like, right. well, I know I'm sorry, but I don't know what. Right. I'm something because I feel different, but I can't put my finger on it. 
You know, that's just like being an agnostic and, you know, religion. Like, I don't really know it, but I think there's something. <laughs> I feel like there's some sort of supernatural feel force. Right, there's a force, supernatural power, <laughs> energy. There's something that can't nobody explain, and that's there to me. You know what I mean? But can I identify and give you an answer and, and what exactly it is? No, I don't. I don't know. I can feed my brain with shit that can get me a understanding what I might feel as though is closest thing to it. You know what I mean? Like feed it from the force field. It's like that feels right though. So I think the I think the Buddha monks know what they're talking about. This whole coming back as a flower is cool for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like that reincarnation shit. Shit. Why do you think dogs and cats be looking like humans sometimes? I mean this Tyrone is in there. So I'm trying to tell you, nigga. Yeah, you are letting out the info. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> so, because I went to Area 51 last week. Mm -hmm. They gave me. They've been, you know what I mean? I've been, been elevated. <laughs> but, uh, hey, man, let your kid decide what they're going to decide. You know, it's like pressure. That's, that's, I, I guess it's comparative to the pressure your kid to fucking go to Yale at 12 years old. He's 12, man. He didn't get to high school yet. 12, 12, 12. You know 12. what I mean? Like, you're pressuring him to go to a fucking uh, a pristine college that you went to or something to be a certain way. And the nigga's like, yo, dad, can I get to middle school? <laughs> like, <laughs> a young pressure. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, speaking of basketball players, uh, the NBA All-Star weekend went down on a different note, uh, a little lighter side of things that uh, happened over the weekend. I know you said you caught some of it, right? I saw yep. some highlights. I saw the end of it. Yeah, um, they changed it up this year. Um, as far as the, the all-star game point system. So each quarter, whatever, you know, they scored or whatever in that, that quarter, and then the next quarter it just went down to zero, and then they kept doing it like that. And then it was like some odd thing. The fourth quarter came, and they, like, added the numbers or something together and then added 24 points to the number and said, that's your target point. It's supposed to be some really smart guy, John Elam or something like that. Not Elon Musk, but Elam, and it's called the Elam Theory is this whole math breakdown. And the player, Chris Paul, is the one who presented it to them to kind of do that and have a target score, get rid of the shot, the, um, the game clock in the fourth quarter. No fourth quarter game clock is a target score. So now it's like basically playing a pickup game of 21. First yeah. one, 21. So you eight, play to win. Right. So these guys were – yo, I ain't never seen an all-star game like that in my life, man. Like these guys – They tried. They tried. <laughs> and it, right. And it was – I think it was more to – like they were doing the loose shit at first, but in the fourth quarter – when a dude, Giannis, the Greek freak, had blocked LeBron James, and LeBron looked at him like, nigga, this is supposed to be for charity. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and they just went balls out. But I think that kind of effort is, is going to bring more allure to that game. You know what I mean? People are like, yo, them niggas is balls. I'm talking about more allure out here, dude. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, them niggas is I want to see that shit. Fuck that. Yeah. You know, as opposed to like, ah, oh, it's an all-star game again, which is what the dunk contest is becoming. You yo, know? the dunk contest, I listen, I know I'm old. I uh, These dudes are doing insane dunks. But I don't know who the fuck they are. And that's, you know, my man Drip Skip Bayless, he has a problem with that. Like, Skip's like, man, I've been covering this game forever. And, 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 and you know, covering the, 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 the dunk contest. And he goes, what's missing is we don't have the elite players involved. He yes. said, look, those guys back then, Michael, Jordan, Dominique Wilkins, yeah. like, these guys were elite players, man. You know what I mean? Kobe even did one. Elite player. And that's yeah. why he gives LeBron a lot of shit because LeBron refuses to do one. He never did Dumb. One, and he won't do it. And he's a he's a dunker. You know what I mean? He's like, yep. yo, but you're a high flyer. You gotta at least do one. Come on, you're you're a smart guy. You can come up with some dunks. I was thinking he should have done that shit his right. rookie year. But, right. Not they said now. They, they usually said that's what uh, they were saying. They said usually most guys when they do it was it's in their first five to six years. Because after yep. that, you're now you're getting close to your thirties. The hops ain't like, the same. You know, it, ain't, it ain't the same like unless you Vince Carter. You know yep. what I mean? But Dwight Howard was in it again this year. He's an older guy who's still tried, but he came out doing the same shit. He put the Superman cape on. Yeah. He tried to do the same dunk he did last time. It's like Tell Dwight. Me why. Yeah, Dwight, stop. <laughs> Dwight. Dwight. <laughs> but they said LeBron probably did it because um, he never he doesn't like to lose, and he he thought it would tarnish his brand. That's he's all about his brand. You know what I mean? So it's it tarnish my brand if I show a loss. I don't think anybody would give a shit. LeBron ever like well, yo? What about that? What about that dunk contest? LeBron lost. I don't. That's been yeah. the thing about LeBron forever. Is he he doesn't want to take that final shot. He doesn't want to fucking step up, and that's why he's always been underneath the top, top, top dudes for me. Because yep. he doesn't have that Robert Ory gene. He doesn't have that Michael Jordan right. gene. He's of a just leader. Like, but he doesn't he doesn't take the lead when it necessarily like yeah. there's been plenty of times like he gave the ball to the wrong person in the wrong time. Like yep. LeBron, you're the fucking man. You've been the man the whole game. Exactly. And now the game's on the line and you pass it to J.R. Smith, who tried to call a timeout that they didn't have or some shit. You know, like, what are we doing right now? Yeah. Michigan. <laughs> yeah, like, come on. Get that shit together, man. <laughs> yeah, but you know, the all-star I, 
I did uh, watch, I didn't get to see the skills competition. That one's pretty cool. I watched the three-point shootout. Um, Pull the heat from my boot out. Yeah, they did. They added a new one to it. There's a there's a rack that's further back for three points now. Nice. Yeah, so they got to go back there and hit. You know, because guys are hitting those shots nowadays. Those like half court shots are almost like a thing. So much that they're talking about considering adding another line in the NBA, and making a four point line. Shout out to the XFL because they got to be. <laughs> that's got to be the reason, man. They see the XFL Listen, pushing they, stuff, and it's like, yo, this it might they, be it. They said they they said consider the whole. Hey, when these guys are because the guys' range is like Curry can hit from out there like it's nothing but barely jumping. You know what I mean? He comes yeah. over that, you know, five feet past the fucking half court line. He's dumping it like a jump shot. Like he, you know, before it was a heave for niggas. These niggas <laughs> jumping up and just <laughs> that's a free throw from the half court nigga. Okay, that's another thing that's weird to me too. Is why is LeBron so bad at free throws? Like, yeah, he is, man. But some of the best are. I don't know. Uh, well, Dwight Howard is terrible. Shaq. Abysmal. You know I mean, it's like Jesus, Shaq. But you know, you look at the size of Shaq. Well, he's kind of big and clumsy, so I can see he yeah. doesn't. He's not a. He's a aggressor. He doesn't really seem like a. He's not a finesser. You know what I mean? And so, they say, "Woo, okay, you know, okay." Oh, the came out. I didn't even know it. It came out. He's an aggressor, <laughs> not a finesser. <laughs> but Dude. you know what I mean? He's, he banging niggas down in the paint. He not. Yeah. You're not counting on Shaq to have the sweet jump shot. <laughs> and I remember them talking about too. He's seven feet tall. So I think you're seven feet tall. Then when you hold the ball up, that's like eight feet tall. So you're almost near the damn rim. So shooting it is right. It's weird. a hop. It's it, right. And oh yeah, for the jump shot. Right. So the best shot for him is you get for the foul close. shot for uh, Shaq. Right. It was like it was like it was a weird. The release and we're right. shooting from down up down. That's true. He's shooting from you're shooting up from the arc base and he's yeah. Like, it's like almost a. He can't really see with his hand that high <laughs> to get that follow through. Like, oh fuck, I did it again. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, but guys like that, man, and yeah, LeBron is a bad free throw shooter, man. That's <laughs> that's a, one of his career tainted things, man. You know, the career tank. The Le <laughs> LeBron's tank in the career. <laughs> oh man, but uh, three point shootout was not won by a white man. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, it used to be that's all. Oh, no. That's all we have left. That's all we have left is the three pointer. Uh, but now, nah, nah, I mean, you know what? It's the European boys that are coming in hot, man. Luka Donich. Uh, I saw some highlights from him. He's dope. He's dope, man. He can bang that thing forever. He's like a better version of uh, 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 Dirk Nowitzki. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Like that. For, you know, I go Dirk because Dirk's that foreigner. They got that kind of Euro step they do. They kind of do that fadeaway off of one foot. Yeah. Like that's that's Dirk shit. That one one foot fadeaway shit. This kid's got it, man. He's inside outside, and he's big dude. And that's like the new, like the dominant big man, like a Shaq kind of guy. It's not a thing no more, man. Mm. There's no big dudes like that. Like, these guys are tall, but they're they're big, like uh, skilled players now. Like these guys are twenty foot jumpers. They're hitting. Yep. Like, yep. Joel Embiid, like he's he's got a shot, and, and he could take it inside and bang you around. So it's that true big man. That's why a lot of these guys are converting to small ball. You know what I mean? They're just fast and quick, fast and quick. Because there's no dominant big man that our teams are running through that big guy anymore. It's not like give it to him; he's just gonna dominate there like Will Chamberlain and Shaq, and yep. can't nobody stop him. They don't. That's not the kind of ball it is no more. It's like you need shooters, niggas in the wing, <laughs> putting in work. <laughs> yeah, but it was so LeBron's team won against Team Giannis. Yeah, so and, Kawhi uh, Leonard got the MVP. Kawhi Leonard got MVP. Uh, shit, it should have been. That motherfucker uh, from Toronto that kept taking charges. He took like four charges before one got called. Damn. Like, nigga, it was, you was committing your body. Like, the Raptors is like, yo, bro, we got a chance for the playoffs. What the fuck right? is you doing? <laughs> this doesn't mean anything out here. Right. Right. Have you niggas forgot? <laughs> this means nothing. That's funny. You know, so that all happened. They had a celebrity game. I didn't. You know what's crazy with those celebrity games now? Is like, because they're celebrities. I don't even know. They're celebrities. Yep. Like, there's a guy named. Uh, some famous, famous, famous Lou, famo, famo Lou, or something like that. Famo, famous Lou, real skinny guy with dreads. I'm like, I, I don't even know who the fuck he is. What is he? Yeah. And I gotta, you know, we gotta remember too that a lot of these celebrities too nowadays are just good old guys like us, YouTube guys, yeah. man. That, you know I saw I mean? there were. I'm not even uh, familiar too much with TikTok, but I saw there were TikTok famous people, and I'm like, they who just, knew? I think they're just putting anybody at this point because there was like people was like they had the fucking. Uh, one of the owners to like the uh, one of the NBA teams. So this guy's like fucking six years old out there shooting j jump shots. Yep. It's like he's a celebrity to his team. <laughs> yeah. Like niggas don't know. You know that. what? Fuck it. I'm going in this year. Right. When That's you say crazy. celebrity all star game, I, I thought that meant you had to have celebrities. Like, I don't know. Yeah. 
just because you own a team don't make you a celebrity. It makes you a famous guy who owns a team. True. You know what I mean? It makes you a rich guy who owns a team. Yeah, rich guy, not right, even not famous, the famous necessarily. Like, if they don't know, if you're not getting stopped every day, like, oh, my God, look who it is. There's nobody. You're just another rich white guy when they see you. Look at this guy yeah. with money. Would he work at Wall Street? Oh, he owns an NBA team? Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's just one of those things. Nobody has a lane anymore. So you don't need to stay in yours. <laughs> True. That's what we do on Watermelon versus Pumpkins. Listen, man, we give dip you outside lanes. Dip outside of lanes. And we dip knowledge into fudge for you niggas to consume. Listen. <laughs> so dip your knowledge in this fudge, nigga. Knowledge-based fudge. Knowledge-based fudge. Go ahead and nigga. pack that. <laughs> Go ahead and pack that. <laughs> Oh, God, because at the end of the day, my niggas. It's the beginning of the night. And uh, you niggas have been schooled on life, and I appreciate y'all being in these gourds. Episode 113. 113.